boss, the legend, the master, the house, the music, the president, the prime minister of the dance music, the king, the top dog, Peter. Thank you to Annie Mac. Take a bow, another splendid innings. Pete Tong here, back with another top shelf selection. Three hours of the very best dance and electronica from around the world. Opening up with this.
Keep calm. Big opening emotive song, Roger Sanchez back on form, Remember Me. And we kicked off with the Disciples remix of Reckless For Your Love, the classic from Azarian Third. I'm Pete Tong, your curator for the next three hours through the very best dance and electronic music from around the world. Music coming your way from the likes of Ten Snake, Ten Walls, Fair Play, Jack Beats, Disclosure, and lots more. Plus, coming up, I'll be inducting Jamie Jones into my Hall of Fame. The Essential Masters will flash back to 2003. And the After Hours mix tonight comes from Nicole Mudabar. Meanwhile, this world exclusive brand new Kirby. Pete Tong, Global Dance Headquarters. It's called Rubber. Eat, sleep, rave, repeat, tongue. Mm. Snap! Exclusive. A world premiere coming out of Essex, Kirby and Rubber. And here's a brand new remix of David Zoe's House Every Weekend from Afro.
through the best electronic music from around the world. BBC Radio 1. Ten Snake and Keep On Talking, coming out in June. Before that, the Apre remix of House Every Weekend from David Zoe. Apre was responsible for that huge Chicago tune. I'd like to thank you if you came out and supported me last weekend in the UK. It was a whirlwind trip. Hatfield Friday night up to Shindig and the festival. Brilliant. On Saturday, late afternoon, early evening, back to back with Andrea Oliver. It was cold. But the crowd was crazy. Then back down south and out to Folkestone on Saturday night with Left Wing and Cody and Sonny Federa. And then Sunday night ending up in Bournemouth, another seaside town at Halo for their second birthday. Peacock Global Dance Headquarters. Let us continue right now with Galantis.
And before that, Peanut Butter Jelly from Galantis. Their debut album, Pharmacy, is coming out in June. Press that button one more time. Last week's Essential New Tune. Yeah. And let's replay last week's Essential New Tune from Ten Walls. Sparta. And I'll be reading out some of your comments.
Marathon Part 2 with me, Pete Tong. Some of your reactions to Ten Walls and Sparta, last week's essential new tune. Nicky Montague said loving it. Can't wait to hear that on a big sound system. Luke Woodman says another melodic bomb. Larry Nagel, class. Karen Ellis, I love it. Christopher Skippy Reed says the B side's pretty hot as well, Blue Orphan. Charles Chinnery says boring tune. Simon Sad says we have the makings of a legend in Ten Walls. 10 out of 10 for Benjo. Richard Jones says same tuba sound. Can't do the same trick twice. That's lazy. And Hassan Khan disagrees. Says another epic summer anthem. Don't forget to get involved and leave your feedback on Facebook and Twitter when I play this week's Essential New Tune at R1 Dance using hashtag Essential New Tune. First though, here's XY Constant. Silver line from XY Constant. Still to come, Jamie Jones is inducted into my Hall of Fame. The After Hours mix comes from Nicole Mudabar. But right now, it's time for this week's Essential New Tune. The Essential New Tune. Pete Tong, BBC Radio 1. It's the second taste from their brand new album, Born in the Echoes. Teams them up again with Q-Tip, formerly from Tribe Called Quest. This is Go from the Chemical Brothers.
This week's essential new tune, brand new track from the Chemical Brothers. It's called Go, featuring Q-Tip. He previously worked with them on Galvanize, if you remember. And it's another teaser ahead of their brand new album, Born in the Echoes, released this summer. Let me know what you thought of that at R1 Dance, hashtag Essential New Tune, or on the Facebook page at BBC Radio 1 Dance Music. I'll read out some of your reactions on next week's show. Meanwhile, should we get into the Weekend Hot Mix Part 1? I think we should. Lights down, system up. It's the Weekend Hot Mix. Kicking off with this brand new from Jack Beats. Thank you. 
exclusive. P Tongs first play. Don't be jealous, he got it first. John Steele and Adam Cooper combine on the terrace on Pucker Up Records. This is an exclusive. Before that, featuring on Owsler's Spring 2015 compilation, Jack Beats and One Love, missed by many. I'll be inducting Jamie Jones into my Hall of Fame. A man who has made a massive contribution to the UK underground over the last 10 years. And also the host, of course, of the infamous Paradise residency at DC10 in Ibiza, back for 2015. He'll be talking about that as well. And dropping an exclusive cut from Hot Creations. Following Jamie, we've still got a great selection of Essential Masters before midnight. Coming from the year of 2003. And then Nicole Mudabar, excited about this. She's going to step in and she's going to do something that she's got a lot of experience at, providing the music for our after party. Meanwhile, loving this guy, Emmanuel Saiti. Tracks called Love Songs for those that don't like love songs.
Set that dance floor on fire, Pete. This mix is hot. Ow. Shadow Child, last week's guest on this show, he came in live, reversioning one of the all-time house classics from Hard Drive, Deep Inside. Before that, Love Songs. For those that don't like Love Songs, from Emmanuel Satie. He's playing the Circuit Bar in Essex on June the 6th. Coming up later, the After Hours mix will be delivered by Nicole Mudabar. She is Lebanese, but was born and raised in Lagos, Nigeria, before moving to London. To study at Richmond College, don't you know? She started out promoting events in her native Lebanon before moving her parties to London. Started releasing records back in 2009. And her debut album, Believe, was released on drum code back in 2013. It was one of the highest selling techno albums of the year. And she's very experienced at after party vibes. So it's great pleasure to have her doing that at the end of the show. Meanwhile, this debut last week, let's roll it again. Massive, bang that. Disclosure are back. Now let me 
me see you work it. I wanna see you twerk it. Now let me see you. 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 Shake that, do you pass out, freak that, do you pass out, work that, do you pass out, bang that, do you pass out, shake that, do you pass out, freak that, do you pass out, work that, do you pass out, bang that, do you pass out, shake that, do you pass out, freak that, do you pass out, work that, do you pass out, bang that, do you pass out, shake that, do you pass out, freak that, do you pass out, work that, do you pass out.
It's the weekend hot mix. So hot, so damn hot. Michael Calfang getting the Arm and Edge and Dance treatment on Treasured Soul. Talking of Arm and Edge and Dance, Cuff Records are hosting a stage at the Outbreak Festival in Donington, May 23rd. You can also catch them at the S2S Festival in Newcastle on the 30th of May and Switch Southampton on the same day. Before that, Disclosure are back. Also hosting their own festival, the Wildlife Festival in Brighton, alongside Rudimental, June 6th and 7th. Returning with some dance floor dynamite. Bang that. Friday night on Radio 1. The soundtrack to your weekend with the Dance Music Marathon here. And time now to induct Jamie Jones into my Hall of Fame. I caught up with him last week over a video chat. Here's what we spoke about. Not everyone understands house music. Pete Tong's Hall of Fame. This is Pete Tong on the Hall of Fame right now. We're about to induct one of Wales's premier DJ exports. Jamie Jones, how are you? Very well, Pete, thank you. Good. On this section of the show, we like to take it right back to the beginning. So how did you get into music? What were you listening to as a kid? As a kid, you know, my earliest memories are driving to Bangor in North Wales, which is that close to the city, and singing um, Whitney Houston and Kelly Jackson and <laughs> Michael Jackson and Gloria Estefan. <laughs> I loved that one as a kid. The great Jamie Jones Guilty Pleasures. <laughs> And then I got into electronic music really early because I had cousins who, you know, at the time of the illegal raves in the UK, my cousins would travel around, there was ones in slate quarries in Wales and stuff, but I was, you know, 12, 11, 12, 13, I was too young to go, but they'd bring back the mixtapes and... Can you remember the um, first moment that you decided to become a DJ? Yeah, you know what, Pete, it was actually your show, it gave me such a massive thing, I used to listen to it every week, and I got my first turntables which were belt drives, um, I had no idea what to do. I didn't know anyone who DJed. So I stood there for about a month, just scratching my head, like, what do you do? I was a segment on one of your shows. It must have been 96, just sort of guiding you how to beat match, how to cue a record up, how to use the pitch control. And I was like, no way. <laughs> and I was, I, was stuck, I was stuck in my room then every night for, God knows, years, <laughs> just, just mixing tunes. A few years later, you find yourself in Ibiza. I think the story I like to tell people, though, that I like to get across, that you, you went to Ibiza really to, to be a worker, didn't you? And kind of work your way up through the ranks that way. Yeah, I'd, I'd gone to Ibiza in 98 for the first time on holiday for a week. Had an amazing time in my life, you know. Uh, went back in again in 99 on a two-week holiday. And then when I moved to London to go to university, me and a friend of a friend decided to go there and sort of try out for the season. And yeah, I just, I started off working for, um, I think my first job was actually working for Judgment Sundays, and then out flyers. <laughs> and then I sort of, uh, you know, moved on to doing some work for Pasha, and I was the worst flyer in the world, though. I, I'd get up in the morning, go to the, to the team meetings, and <laughs> four people had handed in my flyer, and I'd get about 30 pence. I had my big box of records, but, you know, I didn't expect to play in it or anything. One of my first gigs was in Eden's back room. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> yeah, it was like an after hours thing. So from your makeshift uh, workers' jobs to your formative uh, DJ gigs at the, in the back room of Eden, how do, you, how do you end up at DC10? Well, I mean, I discovered DC10 um, in 2000. I think it, it started midway through 99 met some people who were, who were going to DC10. I started going there every week. And when did they first ask you to play? Through Clive Henry, actually. You know, I think he'd heard one of my mixes. And and um, and by this point, I started releasing music as well. Played a couple of times in Fabric. Yeah, I just kind of became on, on Andrea and Antonio's radar a little bit. And um, they gave me a gig on the closing one summer. Then it got to a couple of gigs the next year, three or four gigs. And then obviously when DC10 closed for the year, uh, in 2008, um, they invited um, myself and Seth Troxler to come back the following year and be the main residents. Pete Tong, Global Dance Headquarters. Let's hear one of those early tracks now. Um, what are you going to play for us? I'm going to go for one off my first album, which was on Cross Sound Rebels. But at the time, I was being really heavily influenced by disco, but coming from the sort of the more minimal techno kind of house world, um, this is kind of a, an infusion of the two. And yeah, it's called Turning Tables. And hope you enjoy it.
This is Pete Tong on the Hall of Fame right now here on Radio 1. I'm joined on the line by Jamie Jones. Um, we just heard one of your early productions. Of course, you went on to start one of the seminal underground labels uh, when you met up with Lee Foss. Tell us about the, the early beginnings of, of Hot Creations. We met in DC 10, actually, probably 2001. Yeah, he was always the, the weird American dude dancing in the corner. <laughs> And um, we just had a, you know, we ended up living together and we basically had a, you know, a real mutual passion for the music. And we started on Nature together, which was a night in Ibiza, a disco night, and then us two making music together. And I'd been given so much music over the last few years, previously led to that, that was good enough, but just wasn't getting released. And when Rob James gave me some music, I was like, you know what, this has to come out. So we decided to start the label. And uh, that was the beginning of it. Yeah, my first release, Ruckus, and all went from there. We're going to come back and talk about the label more in just a moment, but let's focus on the band Hot Nature that came from from a, a night in a disco. Uh, you formed the band with Lee. Um, you, you got very busy, you put the album out, you, um, you had a kind of very active year. You then seemed to take a break. You've been back very much with the band over the last few months. Tell us about that. Yes, we have made some changes recently in you know how, how we work and stuff like that, and we started to get really excited about the project again, and we spent you know the last sort of three or four months months really spending time working on some new mu- music it, I think it was probably ignited by um, being booked to play one of the, um, the biggest stages at Coachella you know which was obviously a huge honor and a big deal for us so we wanted to make sure that performance was tight and uh, you know we had some new material to play etc etc okay so there are new songs coming <laughs> yes there's new songs coming yeah yeah it's cool because I think one of the big things for me personally was you know the album came out at uh, the same time as I was launching Paradise in Ibiza, putting on you know weekly shows in Ibiza is it, it, it's not what I expected. It no. took up a lot of time and a lot of energy. So, but now that's you know it's firing on all cylinders, and the whole team knows exactly what we're doing, and it's all you know it, it's it's in a really good place. And um, it's allowed me much more time creatively to make music, and obviously, our nature is a, a big part of that. In a way, when you put the album out, I mean, I know you've always been operating in the underground, but the wider world was kind of totally into kind of EDM. Um, in a way, you, you kind of set the tone. You kind of took a break. It's like the world's changed now. <laughs> Do you sense sometimes that you're a little bit ahead of the game there with the band? And that the markets now move towards you. I think so. I think you know. I, I, without, I don't want to sound sort of any way, any way big-headed. You know, we we just made music, and and you know, it's 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 how it is. Things things flourish from the underground, and the whole plan, the whole point with Hot Nature was to make music that could be, you know, that people could listen to on their iPods in the, on the morning on the way to work that weren't house and techno fans. You know, you know, if some of our music album included had been released maybe six months even later or a year later yeah. it would have been you know um probably you know even more successful than it, than it was all right we we'll look forward to new music right now let's enjoy one of the old tracks uh, from the album what have you picked i'm gonna go with my favorite track off the album we wrote it in la and it was a, a real collaboration between always on the lyrics and i, I think it's probably one of the strongest lyrics that we did on the album it's called planet us and hope you enjoy this one too it's Pete Tong, BBC Radio 1.
Uh, you're listening to BBC Radio 1 with me, Pete Tong, Planet Us from Hot Nature, Jamie Jones on the Hall of Fame this week. We're going to go and talk about the label again. You've always had hot creations and you had hot tracks. You've launched another label, haven't you? Yeah, we did. And Lee and I just launched uh, Emerald City. My dream is to have, uh, you know, a label like Excel, you know, where you can release anything and it's still kind of got its connections to weird and underground music, but that it can release a hip hop album, can release uh, an electronic album, can release a, a house album, you know, anything. So yeah, that is the point behind this, is that as we get more demos and we make music um, that's more like that, this is the outlet for it. Okay, um, just one more word on the label. Um, Patrick Topping, one of your protégés, really seems to have made a breakthrough in the last year. You must be proud of that. Yeah, I'm super proud. Um, you know, he's, he's such a lovely guy and he really fits into the, the whole family we've got really well, you know. There's, we release a lot of music, but you know, the, there's the crews, the guys that are DC Ted, the residents from Yet Paradise, and so we're all just like a, a group of mates that get along. And Patrick's like that, you know, he's really humble, really genuine, super passionate about the music, dedicated and hardworking, all the qualities that, you know, it takes to, to really rise um, the right way in this world. And he's certainly doing that, so I'm, I'm so happy for him. Okay, uh, finally, Paradise 2015. Um, a lot of excitement around you relaunching. How's, how's it looking? It's looking amazing. We started, you know, we were learning as we we're going into our fourth year what needs to be done. And the, one of the key things is, is to be as, as early as possible with everything. So we started preparing the concept. Um, before even last summer and you know we, we, we went straight for the bookings um, towards the end of the summer and yeah we've, we've yeah it's by far our strongest lineup yet so yeah I'm, I'm really excited not everyone understands house music Pitons Hall of Fame Okay, thank you, Jamie. Thank you for your time. Congratulations, you're in, uh, inducted into the Pete Tong Hall of Fame. Your your stars in the post. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much, Pete. It means a lot. It means a lot. Thank you so much. Leave us with something new. It was um, a demo I got not long so long ago from um, Kevin Knapp. He gave me this, and I played it in Miami, and it was huge. A lot of people are going to be very happy now because uh, from my <laughs> ultra set, everyone's been trying to idea. I've seen online for weeks now, so. Here it is for all you ideas. <laughs> um, it's Kevin Knapp with the heft. Hand it over. All right, Jamie, thank you.
Many thanks to Jamie, ending with a monstrous tune, Kevin Knapp and the Heft. A world premiere on Hot Creations. Jamie Jones Paradise Party is hosting a stage at this year's We Are Festival, Upminster, May 31st. He's also playing at Park Life Festival, Sunday, June the 7th. Don't forget, Nicole Mudabar's at the controls of the After Hours mix a little later. And time now for us to kick off the second hot mix of the night. Lights down, system up. It's the weekend hot mix. As we continue to warm up your weekend. Kicking off with a former essential new tune from Kaidas.
Damn, Pete, this mix is fire! Lights down, system up. It's the weekend hot mix.
It's the weekend hot mix. Turn it up. Turn it up. Loving that after hounding James Abelia for a copy. He put me out of my misery. Maze Void. Mass Void or Maze Void. And the Models Dance to Trance remix of Return to Bliss on Born Electric. Before that, former Essential New Tune from Kaidas out of Liverpool on Circus Recordings, Jupiter Rising. Pete Tong, Global Dance HQ. Don't forget you can listen on demand anytime and anywhere on your phone, courtesy of the BBC Radio iPlayer app. Don't forget to check out the Radio 1 channel on our BBC iPlayer as well. Coming up, the Essential Masters coming from 2003 as we jump back in the TARDIS. But right now, we're still in the weekend hot mix with another world premiere from Sasha. This is Ether. Mm. Oh, my God. 
Set that dance floor on fire, Pete. This mix is hot. Ow! It's Pete Tong, BBC Radio 1.
Did you hear me? Did you hear his name? His name is Pete Tom. Friday night on Radio 1, warming up for the weekend. LA Wise, I'm playing at Sound tonight with Koyu for my residency. And then Saturday night, returning to Public Works in San Francisco alongside Kolsch. So I've got a busy weekend over in the West Coast. How's yours looking? Tell the world about it on Twitter at R1 Dance. Or leave a message for us on Radio One's dance music page on Facebook. in the background so much great music around Stefan Barnum born in Brazil grew up in Europe that's out on El Amordio Maceo Plex's label before that the return of Collective Termstrasse amazing sorry I'm late on Dynamic and Ether from Sasha a world exclusive Scuba's going to be delivering the Essential Mix tonight between 4 and 6am but here he is to tell us what to expect from his mix and to drop a tune that he didn't have time for. Essential. Hi Pete, Scuba here. Just to say that my Essential Mix is coming up later at 4am. There's tons and tons of new music on it. Almost every track on there is an exclusive. So yeah, really excited about that going out. Um, right now I just wanted to play a track that I was looking to get on to the mix, but you know, for whatever reason, <laughs> didn't quite make it on there. But I want to take this opportunity to, to play it to everyone. It's a brand new label coming out of Berlin. Uh, some friends of mine who are running it, it's called Rhythm Nation. And the first EP is by a bunch of guys from Ireland, in fact, two guys from Ireland called Terriers. And the track is called Believing the Crystal. So check it out. Essential Mix.
over there teasing us ahead of the Essential Mix tonight between 4 and 6 a.m. Time now for the Essential Masters. Pete Tom, revisiting big tunes from recent years. This is Essential Masters on BBC Radio 1. Coming from 2003, the year the London congestion charge began. Some bloke called Roman Abramovich brought Chelsea FC. And England won the Rugby World Championships. And this was on the dance floor, pure class, from Seal and Loft.
BBC Radio 1. This is Essential Masters on BBC Radio 1. The man that can do no wrong, Pete Tom. Essential Masters from 2003, some goosebump moments from 12 years ago. Skylark, and that's more like it in the background. Burger before that, featuring Chrissy Hine with Straight Ahead, and we kicked off with Manila. Still sounding so cool from Seal and Love. Pete Tong, replaying the tunes that matter from years gone by. And here's Roy Davis Jr.
Remember, you can see the full track list for these and all the tracks I play via my pages at bbc.co.uk slash radio one. That was the Essential Masters from 2003. You are now entering the After Hours. T-Tong Global Dance HQ. It's the midnight hour up and coming to Cole Muda Bar with the After Hours mix. But right now, continuing eclectic style, is Gunja out of Dresden in Germany.
It's that kick, snare, and clap that dictates how we act. Pete Tong. G. Lewis on the eclectic selection at the midnight hour here with me, Pete Tong, on Radio 1. Roy Sop before that, a touch of class. Crack and Smack's remix of I Had This Thing. And we kicked off with Cassia from Icarus. And continuing now with Soul Circuit, featuring the voice of Maverick Sabre. This sounds good for the summer.
songs first play don't be jealous he got it first bring this back bring this back bring this back bring this back to the second we noise remix of very first breath and before that rolling with me from soul circuit featuring maverick saber you're listening to stage two of the dance music marathon your soundtrack to the weekend there's nowhere better than bbc radio one with me pete tong beach rates coming up at one and then the essential mix with scuba at four but right now we continue with the After Hours mix from Nicole Mudabar. 40 minutes of pure mixing. This is the After Hours guest mix for Pete Tong on Radio 1. Hi Pete, this is Nicole Mudaba. I'm African born, currently living in London. I make music, travel a lot and love speedboats and supercars. I'm all about the thrills, baby. I grew up in Lagos, Nigeria, most of my childhood. I was exposed to a lot of Afrobeat, funk and soul music. Even the hard edge of my techno has soul in it. Mostly the music I produce is very percussive, hypnotic, sometimes dark and sometimes euphoric, with funk thrown in, of course. In this mix, Today I selected an exclusive for you to kick off the show. A collaboration I did with Skin from Skunk Anansi. It's not out yet till the summer. It's called Don't Talk To Me, I'm Dancing. Don't talk to me when I'm dancing. We had uh, Zebra Cats on the mic. It's the sort of vibe I'd like to play at an after hours or listen to at an after hours. Don't talk to me when I'm dead.
Mm. Map. Exclusive. Pete Tong, BBC Radio One. Kick, snare, and clap that dictates how we act. Pete Tong. I'm Pete Tong, and you're listening to this week's After Hours Mix by Nicole Mudabar. The young lady who's moved about quite a bit in her life. Lebanese, but born and raised in Lagos, Nigeria, before moving to London to study at Richmond College. 
She started out in dance music as a promoter. Her party trashy renaissance was intended to bring a sense of ritual and community. She also runs mood records and DJs all over the globe. I will start my residency this summer at Circo Loco DC10 Ibiza on the Mondays. I'm super geared up for this one. I'm also playing Glastonbury, which is going to be my first. Awakenings Festival, Space Ibiza with Carl Cox. Also embarking on a massive US tour coming up in uh, May and June. Don't forget you can listen on demand anytime and anywhere on your phone, courtesy of the BBC Radio iPlayer app. As we continue with Nicole Mudabar.
The After Hours Mix on BBC Radio 1.
you're mixing. This is the After Hours Guest Mix for P-Tong on Radio 1. I'm P-Tong and you're listening to this week's After Hours Mix. Pumping stuff from Nicole Mudabar. On the music front, I have my EP Breed with skin from Skunk Anansi and that's set for release in July. On the techno front, I just signed a four-tracker EP with drum code and there are plans to collaborate with Chris Liebing and a Carl Cox EP on my label Mood. So this machine is in motion. Pete Tong, BBC Radio 1. Radio 1. Radio 1. Radio 1. Radio 1.
like yourself can wear a suit and a tie.
Kong. BBC Radio 1. This is the After Hours. That's it. Many thanks to Nicole Mudabar for that After Hours mix. Great tunes. Full track listing up at Radio 1 online. Up and coming next between 1 and 4 a.m. B Trace. And I'll be back to introduce the essential mix at 4 p.m. with Scuba. Many thanks for listening. Next week, the After Hours mix will be coming courtesy of that mystery man, Zoo. Enjoy your weekend. See ya.